I'm not sure if you know this, but Arkansas is a beautiful state. During the production of Exploring Arkansas from Above, we traveled all over the natural state to capture its beauty with an aerial perspective. We used a network of drone operators to capture the many locations at different times throughout the year. Here's a peek behind the scenes on how we filmed Exploring Arkansas from Above. Arkansas is an amazing place for photography and video in general. When it comes to flying drones, when it comes to getting pretty shots, it really makes my job easy. You know, you have, you have mountains, you have rolling hills, you have rivers, streams, bike trails. And waterfalls and bluff lines and, you know, the different regions of Arkansas. You know, I can go down to southeast Arkansas and have a kayak with alligators. And three hours later, I can be, you know, on a beautiful, clear river kayak in here. I mean, it's, uh, the, the contrast there is, is not, not too many places have that. The scenery is very intimate. I can walk out the back door, even at a local park, and you can focus down on, on something that, that can become a beautiful photograph. So many people are surprised at what we have here that it uh, kind of makes it easy for me to take an outstanding picture of Arkansas because people don't believe it's from Arkansas. It's like, wow, you've got that there? But then when you add drone to it, it opens up so many avenues for creative shots, for huge vistas and just bird's eye viewpoint. Before drones, if you wanted an image, like a big grand landscape over the valley or something, you would have to find a bluff that had the perspective for that. But now, as long as you're inside an area that you can fly a drone, you have unlimited opportunities to catch those landscapes. People just couldn't get enough of seeing those shots, uh, you know, flying along a bluff line or flying up to a waterfall. It, the shots sometimes may not be a whole lot different than the ground shot, but just the fact that you have movement, silky smooth movement. I would go out and just play around with the drone and I would get back and look at the video, I'm like, it looks like a movie. And getting, getting a drone up in the air and seeing it from a bird's eye view is truly, it's magical. You know, I think every kid grows up wanting to fly. I get to fly every single day and I do it in an amazing state like Arkansas. We talked to photographers and drone operators about how they go about getting the best shots Arkansas has to offer. Brian Emfinger, who is a storm chaser by trade, is no stranger to unpleasant weather. He braved the cold to capture stunning video of Mount Magazine. He also took us for a roller coaster ride through a gazebo there. Uh, it was windy and it was cold and I think it might have even still been snowing a little bit. Whenever you have that tight, narrow pathway, uh, it looks very dramatic. You know, it looks more dramatic than, than really it was. You know, there's plenty of room there, but that was one of my few planned shots. Mostly, I just get in the air and, and fly around and see what looks good. You know, the pain, the pain is worth it for me, you know, to, to try to um, capture the scenes that maybe other people aren't willing to do in that, in, you know, in, in that crazy weather. Any time that I can get out in Arkansas, whether it's, you know, with a foot of snow on the ground, or in a flood, I try to get out and, and do my video when the weather's not nice, because that usually makes it a more dramatic scene. It's not easy to get those shots, you know, it's not easy uh, to hike to a waterfall with, you know, a foot and a half of snow on the ground and it'd be five degrees, <laughs> you know, it's not easy. Another talented videographer, Brent Walker, captured peaceful moments at Lake Winona of his father kayaking alongside colorful trees. The ripples that it would make with the sun hitting the water, it was, it was really neat. The light was beautiful. I am able to take my camera over the water without having to worry about being so close to the water and it falling in. That's another nice thing about the drone as you can you can get in places you don't want to necessarily get into. Ben Oliver decided to take a different avenue with drone flying. His drones can go faster than the average drone and can maneuver around tough terrain easily, allowing him to get through tight spaces.
Technology for drones is uh, still evolving. Some of these new FPV drones, the first person views, are incredible. <laughs> I watched some videos last year of FPV drones, um, and I was like, what is this? So I looked into it and talked my wife and let me get one, because <laughs> they're not super cheap, you know? So you, it's an investment for sure. Uh, so I got, a, I got an FPV drone. Um, it's a freestyle FPV. There's two different kinds. You have freestyle and cine whoops. And freestyle is made for going really fast. They go 100 miles per hour. Super exciting and energetic. Um, they're super easy to crash also, which I've done several times. Um, and Cine Whoops go slower, but they're made for closer proximity flying, so close to people, close to objects. Flying FPV drones, you know, you go fast, you can maneuver quickly. They're made for getting shots you wouldn't typically see from a drone, and they're still pretty new, so when people see it, it's like, oh, that's pretty cool, you know. Flying through the eye with a first-person view drone is an extra added adventure we thought we'd add. So I was looking up photos beforehand at a, to see what I was flying through, and some pictures showed the Sphinx, I thought it was like small, and some looked really big. So I was like, I have no idea what I'm getting into. So once we got up there um, and I saw it, I was like, okay, I think we can do this. I got my drone up and did a few laps around it and then flew through it. Um, the first time, I think I crashed maybe once or twice. <laughs> I think the hole's like three feet or so wide, so it's uh, a little bit tiny, but uh, once we got through it, we did it a few more times and got the shot, and it was just amazing. The way that they can fly just next to the ground and fly through holes, things like that, it's incredible. So drone video and photography has not hit its limit yet. I've been taking pictures in Arkansas for over 40 years and Really, what I try to do is simply capture the beauty and the sense of what is out here to share with people so that they can gain some sense of what it's like being out here in, in the natural state. The ultimate goal is to find some scene that no one has been able to capture before in some weather situation that no one's captured before, but a lot of these hiking locations have become so popular now that Almost any composition you could think of has been shot at some point. Those unique compositions are harder and harder to find, but I would say that's still the ultimate goal, is finding something unique. So flying here, just, it, there's no words to describe it, honestly. You know, I love going on adventures, I love hiking. I've hiked Pinnacle Mountain dozens of times and gone on hikes all across the state of Arkansas, and it just never ceases to amaze me. Modern technology and innovative talent helped bring Exploring Arkansas from above to life. No matter the season, we were able to capture the beauty of the natural state that keeps on giving every single year.